Hi, remember last week when I said artificial intelligence was going to start making it into the real estate space? Well, it's starting. We're starting to see it with a new website that's out there that's called flyhomes.com, and I'm going to show you a couple things about it. Now, the first thing you need to understand about artificial intelligence is a lot of it right now just rolls into chat GPT where you can ask a question and it will answer it based on the data that's inside of it. What it doesn't do yet is it doesn't crawl along the web. So if you ask for something current, it's not going to spit it out. Now, I'll show you a couple examples, but I think this is a great website and it's a good start into what I think we're going to start seeing in the future. Artificial intelligence, being able to grab data from anywhere and share it with you quickly. So let's take a look at this. We'll do a little flyby here. It's called flyhomes.com. And it says it's the world's first AI powered home search. Okay. It's got a few prompts in here and it's interesting. Show me homes near excellent schools. Learn about fly homes cash offer. <laughs> Learn about buy before you sell. How is the housing market in my area? So I'm just going to pick Phoenix here. And it says, are there any daycare facilities nearby? These are preloaded questions. But you can talk to flyhomes.com right here. And it's going to bring up and say, no, that isn't actually what I want to show you here. I'm going to show you, show me homes near excellent schools. Now, it's going to say, go to home search. We found two twenty. 2,650 homes in this area, and then you can ask a question and follow up. What it doesn't do that I tested was I tried putting in the question that said, what are current mortgage rates? Because it came up and it prompted that. And it said, well, you'll have to go to different websites to find that out. There's the rub. Now, they have some interesting things here, too, under resources, an affordability calculator, market analysis, video hub. The video hub's not that impressive yet. Um, it shows you a few videos of certain cities and not enough of them. So quite honestly, if you want to learn about cities and you want video tours, you're at the right place. You're on YouTube. So you can put just about any city you can think of on YouTube and get a tour of that city. Now, there is a other resources here I kind of like, and that is some market analysis. And it shows you here. Uh, if we look for a city, let's again look at Phoenix. It pulls it up and it says, know your home options. Home price distribution. This is median home prices. The lowest one sold was 35K up to 19.5 million. How competitive is the Phoenix market? It says here it's a cold market. Buyers can probably take their time. It gave a hotness score right here. That's good to know if you're looking at moving to another city. When I moved a lot, especially back in the 90s, I didn't have any resources at all except, you know, asking a realtor, how's the market? And uh, even then, I'm not so sure you got the right the right uh, information. Price per square foot, price drops, days on market. It's pretty loaded here. And you can put in just about any city that you can think of there. And the other thing that you can look under the resources and neighborhood guide. Crestview Guide, Allendale, you can put in your city. And you can also look at cost of living. And this one's interesting. So let's put in Gilbert here and see what they have to say for Gilbert. It's giving us a score of 101 out of 273 cities. Cost of living compared to the national average, 2% lower. House prices compared to the national average, 1% lower. Then it's interesting. It gives you these categories, milk, bread, Hamburger, large pizza. I don't know how they determine the price for a large pizza. Which pizza? Little Caesars? Uh, chicken, two pieces, doctor visit? That's kind of anecdotal. Not sure you're going to get a whole lot about that. But the thing that I like that I'm starting to see on uh, websites like this is it's giving you information on the fly and a lot quicker. Besides just the big kingpin, which is Zillow, which has a lot of information, this one is just putting their, stepping their toes in now with artificial intelligence. It's going to reach the point where you can ask it just about anything you want when it comes to the real estate market. You can take a look and say, well, um, are there any power lines over the house that I'm looking at? And you can go here. I'm going to go to Chandler. 
and we'll I'm putting in Chandler, Arizona, see if it even pulls it up. Watch this. Um, see, there's there's Chandler Wrench Park, Chandler, Arizona, downtown Chandler. Let's take a look at that neighborhood. Shows you the map, tells you the rankings, the highlights, how are the schools, what's the closest freeway. The closest freeway to downtown Chandler is the Arizona 202 Loop. How's the air quality? Is there access to EV charging? There are five electric vehicle charging stations in downtown Chandler, a total of 17 level two chargers. Folks, this will only grow over time. The information market is just going to explode this year. As this an outfit like this is starting with artificial intelligence, remember that it's it it can only spit out what's been put in. So it it looks at local databases in different cities and pulls that information a lot quicker than you and I could. So this may be a helpful tool for you if you're looking at other cities. And it's just an additional tool that you can have when you're looking at Redfin, Realtor.com, and Zillow. This one, I think, because they're diving into artificial intelligence at a much larger scale than I'm seeing anywhere else, uh, could be a winner. Now, they've got another program here, which I find kind of unusual. It's called their Guarantee for Buyers. And uh, this one's curious to me. I'm not sure it's good, as good as what they say it is, but it says, life happens if you make an offer to purchase a home that includes a Fly Homes Guarantee Purchase addendum and need to back out after the seller's already accepted your offer and all the contingencies have been met, we'll purchase the home instead. Here's the kicker. And if we're able to sell it for a profit, we'll return as much as your earnest money as possible after we've recovered all of our costs from holding and selling the home. And I got to say, what are the odds of that? So let's say that you had a home that you entered under contract for 500000 And for whatever reason, you've already had it inspected. You might have even had it appraised. Life happens and you go, I got to get out of this contract. They're coming in and going, okay, we will pick up that contract. It'll now be ours. That seller is going to sell to us instead of you. You can sit on the sidelines. Now we'll take that home and we'll market it and we'll sell it, but they're going to have fees. They're going to have closing costs. They're going to have some holding costs. And so if they do make a profit, which is going to be odd, because if you just wrote a contract, got it accepted for 500000 I don't think anybody's going to be able to come in and market up to five twenty five. And then help you recover your earnest money, which was probably around 1% or $5,000. I don't see that part of it working. So be careful when you're looking at something like that. Oh, it's guaranteed. Well, you're still out your appraisal. You're still out your inspection. And you may lose your earnest money. But you don't have to move forward with the contract. Now, there's always a financing contingency in the contract. If you can't get the financing after you've put forth your best effort, you can get out of the contract and get your earnest money back. But if you just decide that you're pulling out because even after the inspection, you found out something about the neighborhood you didn't like, I don't want to buy there. I'm not going to, I know a lady that did that because they found a scorpion. She went back to New Jersey. She told her husband, sell the house. One scorpion. Um, you can't get out without losing your earnest money. So they're saying we can get you out of the contract. No problem. And we'll do our best effort to get your earnest money back, providing we turn a profit on the house. And I think that's that's a bit of a stretch, but I applaud their efforts. I'm not complaining about the program. I just think anything anybody tries in this market is not a bad, not a bad thing. You've got here under buy homes for sale near me, condos, open houses, homes for sale in Fulton Ranch. You can find open houses on Zillow just as easy. Most people do it on their phone and they go cruising around the neighborhood. But take a look at this. The link is in the description below, flyhomes.com. And uh, let me know what you think. Take care. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, rick, rickhelps.com.